Hi everybody, welcome back to Radical Red, episode 14. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning in as always. If you're enjoying the series, please don't be shy. Leave a like, it helps more than you realize. Uh, we're gonna go through the right one the right now. Uh, I know it's not, I feel I feel bad. I feel like it's not the most interesting content, but I mean, cause like, I, I don't know. I, I like games like Radical Red because they're hard, but part of me feels like people focus a lot on the sort of like the, the boss rush aspect of it. Cause it feels like, it feels kind of just like a boss rush where like people are just concerned about the bosses and what the bosses can do. But you guys saw back there, I was kind of getting my ass handed to me a bit by just just like the bikers and like things like that. So let me just make sure I've actually got Pokevile. Cool. Yeah, I don't want this game to just be seen as like a boss rush. You know, I want to be able to take on. Did I already battle these guys? Oh, wait, did I? Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. Oh, we got ghost type Corsola. I'm a huge fan of uh, ghost type Corsola, which now has unburden as an ability for some reason. Interesting. All right. I don't think we've been down here yet, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of trainers over here. But yeah, I, I want to show like, I, you know, I think maybe in previous videos, I maybe did these guys off screen, but like I'd, I'd rather do all this stuff on camera. I know we don't need to grind. We don't need the money uh but like some of these trainers have some pretty interesting strategies and they can actually be difficult and i mean there's no like stakes so to say it's not like this is a nuzlocke and i might lose a pokemon but i don't know it's uh it's just it's just a way to to learn about other pokemon and see what they do oh uh, yeah i remember wall rain's got some cool changes in this game yeah they gave rotom frost they gave him freeze dry and frost breath and also blizzard of course wall rain they gave it fur coat uh, which, I mean, uh, it just, Fur Coat's one of my favorite abilities. Usually only, I'm pretty sure usually only Furfro and Persian gets it. It just doubles the Pokemon's defense. It's, it's super fun. As if Walray needed more bulk. I, I don't, I don't think it did, but uh, hey, it, it gained 20 points in HP and now it has Fur Coat. So that's fun. Let's see, do you have Fur Coat? Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, I'm not sure if this one has Fur Coat. I mean, this one's probably an Ice Body Walray because it's in the hail. Or maybe it's thick fat, who knows? Yeah, it's Ice Body. Just think about that though, because if that was uh if that was a fur coat wall rain, that would have done like half the damage, and that's just absurd. From a mega absol, it did it would do like 25% of its health. Like that's just absurd. That was a crit too, by the way. Alright, we're going to Drain Gang. Oh, okay. Needle Queen. Goodness gracious, I hate Needle Queen. It does so much damage to Chugga. I shard this bitch. That did a surprisingly like like why were we do why were we doing nothing to that Needle Queen before? But then an ice shard does like that's crazy damage. Alright, I'm just gonna drum beat. Cool. Yan Mega. Again, that's good. Was, that's Gudra's job. Wait, that was Tinted Lens Bug Buzz, I think. That did like, like watch how much damage this is gonna do. I'm a special wall, by the way. That has to be Tinted Lens. Yeah, it's gotta be. Nothing is safe. Gudra just casually dying to a Yan Mega, I guess. Heliolisk, you're gonna Boom Burst. Vol Switch, okay. Wait, oh wait, I forgot I wasn't a Sceptile. Oh my God, that is so much damage. Get out of here. What is the level cap actually? It's not, it's gotta be really high, Jesus. Okay, that was one battle. Like this, this one guy just took out three of my Pokemon. That's Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I actually did want to, okay. What do I even, I've not, who have I not used in a while? Before this continues, I actually want to train up this Zatu because uh, I forgot I actually caught it. <laughs> Zatu is actually pretty quick. 105 speed is nothing to laugh at. Usually you run it like bulky, but like, I don't think Radical Red Zatu needs to be bulky. I think we'll just do Timid Zatu uh, because I, like I said, I kind of want to do, um, I kind of want to give it a U-turn just so it's like a little bit of a utility on uh, it's gonna have magic bounce obviously so it um reflects that moves and stuff so we can like counter team in that way it gets uh esper wing which is really interesting it can lower special defense and it's yeah let's take esper wing i'll take it oh it also learns wish my wish passing king yeah we'll give you u-turn as well i'm just debating on what i ev train it in now if i do a uh, special attack or or what i'm debating if i keep like psychic or maybe i give it like air slash instead i'm like stuck between max hp or or, or just max special attack let's just try max special attack on for size and uh we'll, we'll go from there if i find i wanted to take hits more instead then we'll uh we'll change it pretty impressive special attacks that it's it's higher than gudra's i mean granted gudra isn't invested but it's special attacks that isn't bad by any means so let's do Slowpoke as well right now while we're on the topic of Psychics because we've got Koga coming up soon, obviously, and Koga is poison types mainly. I think I might pass on using uh, Lapras, by the way. I've got too many other Pokemon I'm interested in using right now, although I don't think I've got any water types. <laughs> That's funny. I've got like no water types, even though it's like the most popular type in the game. We'll find a different water. I mean, we've got Dreadnought, but yeah, besides Dreadnought. Uh, you got Regenerator, of course. Thankfully, Radical Red, like we mentioned in the prior episode, they did fix Galarian Slowbro. How do we evolve him? Evolves 
It's level 37. So just one rare candy should do the trick. Oh my god, that's such a cute sprite. Oh, I love him. Oh, what a guy. I, that is such a... I feel like I've seen him before, but that is such a nice sprite. Uh, we got bypass his opponent's ability. May cause poison. Shell sidearm. Is that? Never a chance to poison. Ignores the abilities of other Pokemon. So they changed the base power of this move uh, from 90 to 100 and it used to have a 20% chance to poison physical plus contact uh, if it would be stronger. I don't know what that means. 10% chance to poison now ignores the abilities of the other Pokemon. So how does that apply here? It ignores the abilities of the... Oh, so like if Snorlax has immunity, I can still poison it with this, this move maybe? I think that's what that means, sort of idea. Oh, I see. So usually uh, it inflicts either special or physical damage, whatever is better. Okay, that's what Shell Sidearm usually is about. But I guess Radical Red, because Radical Red made Slowbro more of a special attacker again than it being a physical attacker, which I agree is good. Because usually Galarian Slowbro's got base 100 attack. Attack, so they dropped that down to 75 so they took that away and it's just a it's just a special move now okay yeah we want this i this was just like my analysis of do i want this move oh my god i forgot how cute he is he's so cute what a what a goofy guy one of my favorite things about radical red so far has been seeing all the changes that they made to the sprites i, I do really like them uh, it's already a bold nature which i think is what we want we want to perfect his ivs i don't think there's any reason for me to have a uh, perfect attack on this slow bro so we're probably it's all stats i'm trying to think yeah there's no reason i would want it this thing doesn't have u-turn in fact it actually is teleport usually which is uh a move that doesn't damage yeah, first things first i don't like the idea of a pokeball swapper in the main games because i've already went over this i just like the idea of earning your pokemon in a pokeball but i will use it in radical red because i mean it's there so why why subject myself to torture let's run zero attack ivs cool we could do zero speed as well but uh there's no need right now i love this i'm literally in love with this sprite this thing is so cool man but i'm so glad we're using this and uh it's actually one of the few pokemon that has been claimed by a member on my channel shout out to features we're gonna name this bozo which is actually a very good name i think i prefer galarian slowking to regular slowking i just wish galarian slowking was a bit better oh move we learn what do you get man you get yawn absolutely love yawn uh you get slack off which i think is a must gotta have slack off man you gotta have psychic before we look more let's make sure we get any of his higher level moves which i don't think there are any 65 nope the last time he learns a move is level 45 heal pulse okay so yeah i think this thing will I mean, just besides the fact that it's also weak to ground, I think it might pair nicely with Gudra as a physical wall. Maybe not the best, but hey. Can you learn teleport? You can, right? Yeah, teleport's a TM. I don't think we have that. Maybe we do. I detest that you can learn Scald. I hate it. Scald is such a bullshit move. Oh, I do have teleport. Okay. I was like, okay, I surely have it because they said it's in route three. Okay, let's do teleport. I was going to give it a coverage move, which I think I still might instead of like psychic. I don't know. It's really hard, right? Because this guy right here learns Ice Beam and Flamethrower and also Scald. Ah. <sighs> I mean, hey, even Slack Off might not be the most necessary. But yeah, this guy learns some crazy coverage moves because he's slow, bro. You know, he's, it's just what he does. He's a coverage machine. Let's give him some leftovers. He deserves it. I mean, a Salt Vest in slow, bro, could be fun whenever we get Salt Vest. Uh, I think we'll just, we'll do this for now, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm keeping Psychic for now because we are about to come up against Koga, but maybe after Koga, maybe we'll swap it out for like Flamethrower or Ice Beam or something. Don't know why I took a screenshot out there. Uh, we need to EV train this guy. I'm thinking maybe just the classic max HP, max defense. I mean, I, I feel like like, let's have a look at his defensive type. So Galarian Slowbro resists grass, resists fighting, resists poison, resists fairy, and is weak to ghost and dark and ground. That's not too bad. It's not as good as regular Slowbro. Regular Slowbro definitely has way better resistances, but it also has more weaknesses. So yeah, okay, we'll just stick with the classic max HP, max defense. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? And it's like not even hard to change this if this is something that I end up changing my mind on so let's just do it galarian slowbro is one of those interesting pokemon that like in the games that they were released in they were like released as like dlc and like they were like the signature pokemon of like you know uh, i forget the names of them like the dlc characters of sword and shield but like I, you never really got to use it like for like your full journey or anything you know it's it's a little sad uh but yeah nice physical wall i love my bulky mons so i'm currently looking at what other pokemon get regenerator nothing crazy stands out like 
in terms of new Pokemon that get it, Eldegoss gets Regenerator, which is cool. A really good change for Eldegoss. I think that Eldegoss and Gorbis gets it. Gorbis gets Regenerator. Mega Odino gets Regenerator. But like for the most part, and Muck also gets it, obviously. We talked about that last episode too. But for the most part, whoever got Regenerator in the original games still has Regenerator. Like they've not given too many Pokemon Regenerator, which I think is fair because like it, it, it could get like disgusting if too many Pokemon had it. Just the constant switching. Ugh. Imagine having a full team of Regenerator Pokemon though. Oh God. But yeah, the, part of the reason why my Slowbro for anyone that, I mean, I, I feel bad because I feel like I'm over explaining things and I feel like I'm talking to, like I'm, I know my, a lot of my viewers know competitive Pokemon and they're really, they're, you guys are good at Pokemon. I know you guys are. So I feel like I'm over explaining and it's like, you guys don't need to hear this, but also I enjoy hearing stuff I already know. Just, I don't know why. I just, I like hearing like, oh yeah, I knew that. It's it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's fun. I don't know how else to put it. But yeah, the reason why teleport is good, it actually serves a purpose in battle now, uh, which was added in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, I think? And it's kind of just like a switching move, like baton pass. And you know, you might be like, well, why don't you just switch? And it's because, well, if you're on a slow Pokemon like Slowbro, you take the hit, then you teleport out and you, you know, you get regenerator health back. And it's actually like a really worthwhile move. Like say for this Galarian Darmanitan, Zen mode. Oh, it's a Zen mode. Wait, what? Did they change? They change Zen mode, so you don't have to be a half health. Oh my goodness. Zen mode. If Darmanathan it changes to Zen mode on switching. So that, wow, that's crazy. I mean, fair. So we're just facing Zen mode Darmanathan now, which that's a huge change. I feel like that was in the original game. A uh, huge physical attacker. I mean, I think I'll just attack. I was going to switch out, but I don't even, I think I should take one. It might be like really like, like red health, like yellow. Oh, that, I took that so much better than I realized. Goodness gracious. Okay, this thing's got 160 base attack. Can we just, can we talk about that? Look at how slow bro ate that shit, man. That's obscene. The U turns out, okay. I'm slacking off too, so like this is kind of crazy. Conkledur is gonna get psychic, so he knocks off. Okay, he does not like the fact I'm holding a leftovers. We'll psychic again, bye bye. Sand Slash. I mean, I'm gonna teleport. I should take that. If I took an earthquake from a Darm? Okay, never mind. I got a little bit too cocky there. Slow bro has proven himself though. What a fucking fighter. Shugga should take one hit unless I flinch here. Okay, let's go. And of course, you're running a sash. But that's fine. That's what we like Ice Shard for, baby. Uh, you four times resist Ice Shard, so I don't think it'll kill. But I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, that did nothing. Hopefully the Flare Blitz recoils enough. Not quite. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. I don't have not Mega Evolved yet. So I do have a Mega Evolution that is faster, thankfully. Get out of here. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, they're talking about weather strategies. Frostlass. Blizzard Frostlass. I live on one HP because I'm an anime character. And it avoided because of Snow Cloak. You, you can't make this up. Oh, yeah. I'm running safety goggles on this. I completely forgot. Well, I'm going to go into Drain Gang. Freeze Dry. Uh, okay, it got Frostbite. And that's why I'm very glad I'm running Iron Head. Because Aurora Veil plus Frostbite, that would not be fun right now. Switches into Arctazole. Oh, Aurora Veil is so annoying. I am not. I need to switch out my Grass types from because we're fighting Ice types, obviously. I'm going to protect to stall the Aurora Veil. Low kick. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just going to let... I'm just going to let you go, Gudra. I'm sorry. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Bulldoze. Never mind, it's... It's uh, faster than me. Ha oh, the, is the snow? Uh, the, okay, yeah. Hey, I'll slush rush. Yeah, duh. I always forget about this shit. Yeah, I just lose here. Dude, oh my god. These guys are kicking my ass. And when I'm talking to you guys and I'm telling you that speed is the most important stat in Pokemon, that's what I mean. Weather abilities are so dirty. Okay, I guess I should probably bring... Okay, we're about to fight a bunch of ice, so let's drop Sceptile for now. Let's bring Alola back back. Bars. We'll drop Rilla. Retaliate. Hmm. Bone Rush. Like I mentioned prior, I don't know why that is more desirable than Bone Morang. Bone Rush has the potential to do up to 125, whereas Bone Morang is guaranteed to do 100. I, I, I don't know if I'm missing anything, but I think I think Bone Morang is just better. It also sounds cooler. cooler. Bone Morang? You learn Bone Morang? Bro, that's okay. Um, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bone Morang? Oh, technician Bone Morang. 150 base power. That's insane. Yeah, let's do Bone Morang. My blood has a technician Bone Morang. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. I don't have, okay, I was gonna say, I don't have Surf yet, yeah. Oh, God, I hate this because I'm taking so long to get through this damn route. And I also have all these gym leader rematches that I need to do at some point, because uh, I know that they give interesting things too. So like in terms of content, I am eating good, but also I feel bad because I'm like, damn, I'm taking too long to get through this damn game, but whatever. Okay, yo, again, battle me. This thing, this guy only had two Pokemon, two. Fucking Aurora Veil, dude, I'm teleporting out. That does so much damage, Jesus. Teleporting out in to uh 
I'll just do Drain Gang. Iron Head. Okay, into Arc Result. I'm going to Protect just to waste a turn. This goes for Low Kick. Okay. I'm going to go into Bozo. Take the Low Kick very well. Yep. Thank you. It's probably going to go for a Bolt Beak, so I will switch into Drain Gang. Yep. Protect again. I just want Aurora Veil to be gone, man. I'm just going to Dragon Pulse now. Nice. This thing is a pain in my ass, but it's okay. I think Slowbro honestly handles it. We'll just shell sidearm the the least like practical dude the fact he just takes he can take two of them is like insane bolt beak is such an insane move like we need to talk about that bolt beak is this is the electric variant of vicious rend which looking into it i have learned that zapdos learns bolt beak 85 base power it goes up to 170 power doubles if the user moves before the target so in slush rush where it's probably gonna outspeed you it's a 170 base power move it's not super effective on slow bro obviously but like a 170 base power stab electric move didn't even it doesn't even two code him like he, he doesn't even get two code by it it's absurd i think we take shadow ball right nope okay we are physically bulky not special uh okay blight blight my guy blight my guy has blight been the answer this whole time let's go well that and also just getting lucky with snow cloak or whatever stupid also i just realized that was like a fisherman but like the overworld sprite was not a fisherman all right let's see what lives here oh jesus okay we got, we got a lot to talk about first pokemon is sneasel which uh, now has Infiltrator instead of Pickpocket. Infiltrator is a really good ability. It allows you to go ignore, reflect, light screen, safeguard, mist, and Aurora Veil, and you go through substitutes. Underrated ass ability, I won't lie. Weavile also gets uh, Triple Axel, which is an incredible move for Weavile, if you're lucky enough to hit all three Triple Axels. This is uh, Chan Pao at home, I guess. We um, Obviously, there's Hisuian Sneasel, which is adorable. I love Hisuian Sneasel. Not as big of a fan as Sneasler, but Sneasler is insane, like we've talked about before. Sneasler is just such a stupid, stupid Pokemon. Uh, I'd rather just use a Hisuian Sneasel though. We've got Dugong, which in this game has Ice Scales. Oh my fucking god. This Pokemon receives half damage from special attacks. So Alolan Sandslash and Dugong has Ice. That's wow. Okay, dude. Uh, its attack got nerfed, but its special attack got buffed. Ice Scales Dugong. Really now? Okay. Of course, Dugong. How do you learn dive? What? Wait, what am I? What was it? I was going to say something about the Perish Song strat that Dugong can do. You know, Whirlpool Perish Song. I, for some reason, I thought dive was in there, but I think I'm just thinking about free for all sets. It gets Disable, Encore, Fun Moves, Fake Out, Perish Song. I guess a lot of really good moves. Dugong got a pretty sizable buff in this game. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board with that. Wall Rain, we already discussed. Wall Rain gets Fur Coat. Uh, then there's Glalie. Uh, I think we already talked about Glalie briefly. It's now got Refrigerate and Mega Glalie has been changed in terms of stats, which kind of sucks because Glalie's whole thing was that it was 80 across the board. And I think Mega Glalie was like 120, 120, 120. I think, uh, no, 120 attack, 120 special attack was the sort of like the change. But I guess they, I don't know, Radical Red kind of messed with that a little bit. Yeah, it's whatever. It was for a reason, obviously. Throw. Throw has Technician now and has gained bulk i am a big fan of throw so uh honestly love to see another technician king how many pokemon dude oh my god they distributed this shit they distributed the fuck out of this ability god damn fever with technician just feels right but yeah throw gets technician now auroras uh actually has some pretty solid abilities but despite that it's not very good usually because it's a uh, rock ice type but uh it gets boom burst which i don't know if it gets in the main games if, i can't remember ah it's hyper beam is usually what it runs it doesn't i don't think it's boom burst no so radical red gave us boom burst refrigerate amoras auroras Aurora's. I, I like Aurora's design. I prefer Amora. Uh, I also get Diamond Storm, which uh, raises its defense 50% of the time by two stages. Diamond Storm is Diancy's move usually, so Diancy and Aurora's gets that move now in this game. That's a pretty significant buff, actually. It might not have gotten a bunch of buffs to its stats, but uh, it gets Boom Burst and it gets Diamond Storm. Very solid ability, uh, very very solid moves to give Aurora's. Of course, we have Avalug. I think we talked about it. It's got Filter now. Three-fourths of the damage of super effective attack. So, uh, oh wow, they distributed Filter to Galarian Stunfisk as well. Wow, wait, does Galarian Stur Stunfisk even have any? It doesn't even have Mimicry anymore. They completely changed Galarian Stunfisk. I'm, I'm on board because uh, Galarian Stunfisk is kind of a letdown in terms of battle prowess. But yeah, Avalug, Filter, love it. And of course, there's Hisuian Avalug too, which we've already talked about before. And we saw right there, Mr. Mime gets Filter, which I think it normally does. It gets Misty Surge now instead of Technician. So we've actually lost a Technician user. Um, Misty Surge, I think that's a good ability to give him. Uh, need more Misty Surge distribution. In the main games, Misty Surge is so... Like, there's just not any Pokemon that have Misty Surge. There's like Weezing and like Tapu Fini, I think. I genuinely. Yeah. There's literally these two Pokemon. So literally right now in Scarlet and Violet, if you want Misty Terrain 
line up, you have to use the move instead of just have a terrain user bring it in. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, distributing mystery. Wow, they distribute it to one extra Pokemon. Thanks, Radical Red. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, eh? It's better than nothing. Of course, you got Galarian Mime. I feel like this thing will be available at nighttime. I like uh, I like Mr. Rhyme a lot. Mr. Rhyme's really cool. They made him less of a physical attacker, lowered his special defense, but raised his speed to 100. He's got Screen Cleaner, which uh actually pretty solid overall. He's not a bad Pokemon, but he's not a good Pokemon. You know what I mean? I feel like abil moves like abilities like Screen Cleaner feel kind of like, I don't know, in a game like Radical Red, where you're probably playing knowing what the AI has, <laughs> preventing screens from happening is probably better than having something to fix them being put out. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like people would rather use a Pokemon to just to just prevent the screens from even happening. I don't know, like, I don't know. Mr. Rhyme, I feel like it doesn't have too much going for it because I mean, it's an ice type. Ice types generally don't. Freezy Frost, hold on, let's take that back. Only a handful of Pokemon learn Freezy Frost. Resets all stat changes of all active Pokemon to zero. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I would say that's actually pretty good. Freezy Frost, Regiice gets it, Cryogonal gets it. Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. I feel like it's very situational, but if you're a diehard Mr. Rhyme fan, then uh, go crazy, you know what I mean? We already talked about uh, Arctivish and Arctazolt, I think. Oh, Arctazolt got the same speed as uh, speed stat as Arctivish. They got the same buff. Okay, except Arctazolt's got bad special defense now. Interesting. I guess he probably needs it because I think Electric Ice is maybe a better type combo than Electric Water or Water Ice, uh, rather. Hey ho, those are all the Pokemon here. In the grass, that is. There's some water Pokemon. I've not went over the war Pokemon because there's just so many of them, man. Let's start with uh, Finneon, though, I guess. Finneon, Luminion, Dazzling. It gained 10 HP, dropped 10 attack. It gained a lot of special attack. It, gained, it lowered its special defense. Interesting. And it gained 10 speed. It's got Dazzling, which uh, is usually Bruxish's signature ability, but now Gorbis and Luminion get access to it. So I guess just Sexy Fish get access to that ability. Uh, do you get do you get Bubbly Bounce or whatever the... <laughs> that'd be cool. I guess Tail Glow. It doesn't normally get Tail Glow. I'm sure of that because otherwise it'd be very good. It's one of the few Pokemon that get Tail Glow. Okay, that's deserving, I would say. 101 base speed and tail glow okay significant i guess you turn my favorite move you know i'm surprised they didn't make it a fairy type <laughs> Overall, pretty decent, actually. Uh, for the other Pokemon in the water, uh, we already went over Walrein. We already went over Dugong. Cloyster. Cloyster doesn't seem to have changed, as far as I can tell. Cloyster is already a pretty solid sort of gimmick, so I don't think he really needed anything. Uh, Dreadnought, we've already gone over. It's got Mega Evolution. Yeah, cool. Then I think Bruxish is the last one that's in this water. Cool. Nothing seems to have changed much for Bruxish, which is kind of sad. Yeah, I guess Flip Turn, of course. Yeah, nothing seems to have changed too much for Bruxish, but hey, can't win them all, I suppose. So at night time, uh, there were no different Pokemon here, actually. I thought maybe Nighttime would show us. Oh, Sock. Sock's different. And also Frostlass, which, yeah, okay. Sock. Is Sock a technician boy now? No, Sock has Contrary! <sighs> What? Okay, so in terms of Pokemon that get Contrary, Appleton Mega, which is one we actually want to use, every Pokemon that get Contrary usually get... I think the only Pokemon given Contrary is Appleton's Mega, which is a Fakemon in itself, and then Sock. Every other Pokemon usually gets Contrary, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Enamorous gets Contrary usually as well. So Sock gets Contrary now, and Sock, I know, has access to close combat, of course, so that just means defenses are going up each turn. Interesting. What else can it use to make use of Contrary? though maybe it doesn't need anything else superpower attack and defense which is probably a better use than close combat hammer arm to raise its speed oh goodness gracious that like low-key made me want to use sock that's hype contrary sock you use one hammer arm and suddenly you're like outspeeding most pokemon uh we have calm mind oh <gasps> let's go i don't remember who i wanted to teach Con oh all creamy right I want to teach Calmine to Alcremie, maybe. Calmine is a huge pickup. All right, Route 13. Yo, your bird Pokemon wants a battle with me. Sends in a Gliscor. Have a nice shard, my friend. Yeesh. Look how much this thing heals, though. Watch how much this Gliscor heals. Actually, that wasn't that impressive. Big Togekiss. Gliscor has a pretty sick, like, signature uh, gimmick, so I don't think they would have changed anything on him. Yeah, Gliscor seems to remain the same. Togekiss. Probably, yeah, Togekiss seems to remain the same. It gets Aeroblast at level 100. Togekiss gets Aeroblast at level 100. Why, God? 
Why? I better not see any Togekiss with Aeroblast before level 100. I better not, because that ain't fair. Not even sure why you'd want to run Aeroblast though. Aeroblast has a high crit rate, so I don't know if that's affected by Serene Grace. I don't actually know. Whatever, I shard. I don't think Charizard has changed at all. He really doesn't need to. He has access to two Megas. He's gone to Drain Gang. Yep, Mega Charizard X. Okay, I, I rolled the dice on one of the Megas and I got it wrong. Flare Blitz, that's gonna do a lot. God damn. I'll just let Gudra go here. This is where Bozo comes in. Keep this. How much does a flare blitz from a charizard with tough claws do okay it does over half but that's like still impressive that slowbo just takes that tropius what a guy oh yeah tropius got a big buff in this game as well didn't he he's a blue grass dragon now yeah and the hail took him out shouldn't be a grass dragon in these in these places man i'm sorry oh wait oh it's sun so we just went through the ice okay so yeah i don't know if this was like this in the original radical red but these routes being like this is actually really cool so now we're dealing with like fire spice Spicy routes. Do I have any Pokemon? Oh yeah, we should probably give you the mark of the team member. Saptile hasn't had one this whole time. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Slowbro doesn't have one either. Sorry, dude. Maybe we bring Gigalith uh, just to just to turn the sun off. I think that's really valuable. We'll put Zorok away for now. I also kind of want to give Zatu a shot, so I'll drop Typhlosion for now. It's nice having the PC box, but I, I wish I could just take items off from the from like the the PC box whenever, because like I, I can't. Oh, damn it! I have to do this. All right, let's try this sun route out, I guess. Yo, I'm told I'm good for a kid. Okay, so you wanna you wanna abuse chlorophyll, I see. Okay, sunlight is strong. So Sandstream should be able to get rid of it, right? Cool. Well, that was easy. Let me go into Drain Gang, take a fake out. Uh, I'll just Iron Head, I guess. Knock off. Youch. That did so much damage, Shiftry. What is your damage? He's Life Orb, okay. They also buffed his attack to 120, which is a lot more than what I'm used to for a Shiftry. So Life Orb, Shiftry, Stab, Knockout, it makes sense. Shiftry is going crazy, man. He also gets Parting Shot now. They did well by Shiftry. I'm not gonna complain, I, I do like Shiftry. He took a knockoff again and Iron Head finish. Oh, Hisui and Arcanine with the Air Balloon. Uh, I'll just let you Flare Blitz me, that's fine. I feel like it's probably Rockhead Arcanine, huh? Here, I'm gonna go into Views. I'm gonna U-turn, break that Air Balloon. I'm gonna go into Chugga. Head smash, absolutely drank that. Get baited. Oh, okay, the sun goes back up because I guess Sandstorm runs out. So it's like, okay, that makes sense. Figured as much. Flare Blitz in the sun might actually kill. No, not quite. Oh, we got burnt. All right, hopefully tech, yeah, yeah this is definitely, we, we're, we're fine. Technician Boomerang, yeah, we're fine. Oh my God, we didn't even need to. Despite being burned, absolutely slaughtered. Is it, do you have Mega All Creamy? Based. The sprite just looks so funny because it's just like, there's so much detail that needs to be there, but like there's no space for it, man. All right, fine. If we want to be a sun sun team, let's do a Lolawag. Summer to Flare Blitz, Misty Explosion. Oh Jesus. I forgot, I always forget that this is a move. What is it? I thought it was, if the Misty Terrain was up, it, Misty Explosion? Okay. God, this is so confusing, but from what I'm reading, because I, I thought Misty Explosion, you had to be on Misty Terrain, but maybe it's just not worth it unless you are. Anyway, special defense is halved i don't know if, i'm assuming that must be my special defense got halved and then you just go ham at the misty explosion whatever I, I feel like i just i feel like espion just kills me here but whatever yeah i thought so all right chad come through i really need to look at his moves he has got some shite moves rock slide let's do it nice a regular gudra oh wow that's weird what what's wrong with it oh this thing has draco barrage Yo, that animation though. Okay. Damn. All right, Zatu, finish it. D Zatu, that was pathetic, man. Come on. I maxed out your special attack and you're not able to finish a Gudra from like 20% health. That's crazy. All right, Esper Wing. Cool. Good job, dude. Jesus Christ, man. That was just, oh my God. There's so many trainers in this route too. I wanted to do more stuff today, guys, but wow, there's a, wow, there's an awful lot of trainers here, huh? I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Cool. Hangrowth. This thing usually gets chlorophyll, so it's probably making use of chlorophyll instead of a generator. Let's go into Bozo, because Tangoth has awful special bulk. Knock off. That's... Okay, that, that did about as much as I should have expected. Let's shell side arm. Yep, switch up. Chansey. Okay, dude. It's one of those days, huh? I'm going to go into views in case it wants to south rock. Seismic toss. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to wish, and then I'm just going to U-turn out. Drain Gang is fully healed because of the wish. And we're going to Iron Head. Why are you, like, extra pink? That that was a crit. Chansey. 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 You are disgusting, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, man. All right. I gotta bring in Chad. Bringing in the big guns. Rock Slide is doing like nothing to it. Oh my god. Chansey is being carried by that Eevee light, man. I'm gonna just get Stealth Rocks up. I'm going into Red Rum. Shadow Bone. Let's get this bitch. Please just tell me this kills. There's no way this thing lives. A Shadow Bone. No way. No way. My whole team is like Thunder Wave, man. They got a defense drop at least. Holy fuck, man. I forgot how much of a menace Chansey is. Is this your Mega? Are you, are you Mega Altaria? Uh, Elbow Meringue. Yep, Mega Altaria. Earthquake, I think we take one. Yep. Critical hit. Wow, we could have took two. Bone Meringue. 
Uh, I bone rind in case it was uh, regular. I, mean, I think Shadowbone just would have done more. Shadowbone. Okay. You are so lucky I got fully paralyzed, you asshole. All right. Ice Shard, baby. Let it rip. Tan growth again. It's definitely chlorophyll, so let's just get rid of that. Sun. Hee <laughs> hee. He's solar beaming. What a silly guy. Let's go into Drain Gang. Haha, -ha, I'm sipping saps, baby. I'll just Dragon Pulse. Because like I said, his special bulk is pretty bad. Yeah, look at that. Gudra was embarrassing me with uh, the damage it was doing to Chansey, but I think that Chansey was just ridiculous. Probably like max HP, max defense. Fucking Eevee Light Chansey, man. All right, get out of here. And Chandelure. I will also Dragon Pulse this. I can take a Fire Blast from this, surely. Yes, sir. And that was in the sun too. That was impressive, Gudra. I won't lie. That was impressive. <sighs> All right, get rid of the sun. And then I'm just going to rock slide. Okay. Okay, I'm bad time trimming. I don't want to miss. Yeah, get the fuck out. This is like, like, why am I fighting for my life here, man? Oh, goodness. Okay, before we continue, we're going to take a small breather. I'm going to go check out the move learner tutor guy. Maybe they've got some moves that, uh, drill run. Maybe you can learn drill run. Eh. Pain split? Can you, you don't learn pain split? Fair. Most of the seed bomb, maybe. Oh yeah, leaf blade might be good on my Absol. You don't learn seed bomb, fair. Body slam, I wish it was body press. Body press might be the last move on Gigalith. Rock blast, eh. Iron defense, foul play. Iron defense, he probably learns, yeah. I guess iron defense is better than head, but we'll do iron defense for now. Especially if I'm gonna give it body press or something later. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here that it can actually use, unfortunately. Maybe we have some TMs now. We don't have earthquake yet, unfortunately. Earthquake would probably be a good one. Rock Tomb for speed control is always good. It's not bad. Huh, okay. This is kind of a slow ass team besides, besides Zatu. This would be a good trick room team. I don't know about good, but yeah, okay, fair enough. You don't get anything crazy right now, Chad. That's fine. I'm looking at all the Pokemon that get Sand Rush, because like I kind of want to run a Sand Rush Mon. If I'm going to have a Sandstorm user, I may as well have a Sand Rush Mon, right? They did buff Sand Slash quite a bit. Cacturin's cool, but I've already got plenty of grass types. Uh, it kind of comes down to the same old ones usually, you know, like hey, maybe Dracozole would be cool. I don't know. I'm not super stoked about the Sand, sand Stream ability, but hey, whatever. Let's just continue. What do we have? Oh, double battle. Okay. Bufalin and Cherim. Unfortunately for you, I'm getting rid of... Oh wait, it's hailing. Why is it hailing all of a sudden? I thought this was a, thought this was a sunny area. Maybe I just ran into the route too fast. Uh, okay, well, uh, I think I'll just rock slide. I'm gonna bone meringue the Bufalin too. Battle Blizzard? Oh god. That hurts us both. Is, is Cherim been buffed? Uh, okay, that didn't do too much. Wait, Sap Sipper? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I see what's going on here. Cherim has went from 60 attack to 100 attack. That is the change Cherim has received. Uh, Dawnfan definitely dead here. Ripperoo. Uh, Bufalin. Has Bufalin changed? Bufalin now has Bull Rush, which uh, we talked about a little bit. For the first turn, it gets a 1.5 times speed boost and its attack is 1.2 times. So head smash, normal gem, bull, uh, so something was dying regardless there. It's Bufalin. Let's go into Red Rum. I think Red Rum should be good here. Hey, I heard you were sipping saps, bro. I heard you were sipping saps. Uh, I'll Bone Rush Cherim. Yeah, Pal Blizzard. So yeah, Cherim, Cherim got a pretty cool buff. Well, it's 100 base attack now so it's a physical attacker basically you're just gonna keep making that bufalin stronger oh jesus okay bye bye sorry chad cherim has gone i assessed the wrong threat though that bufalin is a problem it's only 65 base speed though which isn't actually too bad i will psychic bufalin although i don't think it's gonna kill i will back that up with a shadow bone i think bufalin takes this no it didn't wow good job zatu good job them 252 special attack evs are doing work shadow bone this big fucking flowery bitch god damn the almost oko did but the sandstorm will finish off nice bye bye Two Pokemon left, Venusaur and Zeb Striker. Taste. Cultured. Uh, we'll just Psychic Venusaur and we'll, uh, we'll Bone Meringue the Zeb Striker. Why not? Venusaur got Okoed by Zatu? Okay. Bolt Strike? Jesus Christ, relax. You little beast. It's overall right. Yeah, you're you're crazy. You guys are crazy. Okay, the level cap might be 68. I hope it is. Oh, your badges are too cool. Thanks. Okay, so it's actually sunny. Yeah, okay. I don't know why it was icy. It shouldn't have been. But I mean, they still kind of did work to my team. Why are Weeping Bell, though? Wait, it's level 56. Why are you so low leveled? Close combat from the big Ursa ring? That did not. Nothing. Guess he didn't have his guts yet. What the hell was that one random scrub trainer? And then we're back to absolute, like, like, okay, South Rocks. I should have saw that one coming. I'll just let you go, Chad. How much does Ice Shard do? Yeesh. Okay. Bone Rang, peep this. Solar Blade? Ah, shit. Ouch. I still live, though. I lived, bitch. Drain Gang can handle a Gardevoir. Everything seems to live on one HP against Gudra. It's honestly kind of sad. Maybe I just need to invest some physical attack into Gudra. Nah, surely not. Okay, 68 is the level cap, it seems. I'm surprised it's not 69 because, haha, funny, no. Dragon darts is not 
enough to tame me, baby. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. All right. Nice. I think I underestimated how many trainers there are on this route to Val. What here? Oh, wow. You can get Charmander. Yo, what the? Okay. Wow. Okay. We have to talk about this, I guess. Talonflame gained an attack buff of 10 points. Uh, obviously, it's got Gale Wings, which I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. It's it's the new Gale Wings, which kind of sucks for Talonflame. But you got, you got an attack buff, I guess. So, fa fair enough. They dropped Moxie on Pyroar and gave it adaptability. Shout out to shout out to these guys. Does it have Boom Burst as well? Or uh, no, no Boom Burst, maybe? No Boom Burst from what I can see. Can't have them all though, I guess. Regular Arcanine appears to be the same as usual. Magmar has Magma Armor and Magmotar has Mega Launcher. We talked about this before, I believe, uh, but it's much faster of a Pokemon. Mega Launcher was distributed to a few more Pokemon, Magmotar being one of them. Simi Seer. Oh, wait, hold on. Simi Seer has Sage Power. I actually might do Simi Poor because I like Simi Poor and I don't have many water types. So I think we might add Simi Poor to the team, but Simi Seer is in this grass. We already know about Sage Power. We got Oricorio, which, uh, do you have Quiver? Yeah, you've got Quiver Dance, which uh, actually wasn't a thing until Scarlet and Violet, apparently. I didn't know that. I thought this thing always had Quiver Dance, but it didn't, which is just baffling why this thing wouldn't have Quiver Dance. Giralodon, uh, which has 85 HP instead of 70. Very cool. They could have done something about his dog shit abilities man come on light metal heavy metal stalwart like come on man his abilities are shocking and then of course we've got sand discords which we know has a mega evolution which uh just can't be affected by rocks at all it's immune to rocks and it avoids stealth rock it just and, and no they said no to rocks so uh yeah you can you can get sand discords here which i mean you can get sizzlepeter later but hey i don't think any of the water types have any changes tentacruel uh tentacruel's got a little bit less attack uh, a little bit more defense a little bit less special a little bit more special attack oh, okay he's, he's bulky overall he's he's less of like a his his knockoffs are gonna hurt less but that's fine because you're kind of just knocking off for the item removal not the damage mantine has a little bit more special attack they buffed it even more it's crazy to me because mantine and skarmory were introduced as like version exclusives and they had the same base at total but now mantine is just like 30 points higher overall like mantine they just needed that extra something something because it's water flying is just not a good type Dragology, I don't think it's changed too much because, I mean, hey, it's Dragology, it doesn't really need it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the Pokemon in the water. Cool. I am really curious where uh, Simipore is, actually. Apparently, you can get one on Route 15, which is actually just down here. So maybe we'll pick ourselves up a Simipore because uh, I want to use... I want to use Simipore. We picked up TM85, which is Future Sight. Cool. Future Sight is like fun for free-for-alls and that's kind of it. That's kind of like my uh, my usage of that move. I like using it in free-for-alls. They gave Mamoswine Headlong Rush, which is just absolutely demolishing everything, dude. Why did they give him this move? Dude, so many Pokemon learn Headlong, headlong Rush. Holy crap, dude. It's just close combat, but it's ground type. That's crazy. I'm you turning out. Oh, you're faster than me. Did they make Levani like... Wait, or is it because of the sun? I was going to say, did they make Levani super fast? No, it's because of the sun i guarantee yep sun is still up okay levani got sacred sword though that's nice to know camera upped stack off views oh mega camera up goodness gracious mega camera up is a problem uh I'm so glad I'm faster than you. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm faster than you. They made Mega Camera up so much bulkier. I say so much bulkier. Uh, relatively bulkier. I really am struggling because of the lack of water types, huh? Whatever. I mean, in the sun, water types aren't really the best anyway. All right. Okay, dude. Archeops. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, um, Archeops. Uh, chugga. Head smash. Yum. Have a nice shard, buddy. You turned out into Exeggutor again. Fuck this. Sandstorm subsided. Oh god. Gotta get the Sandstorm back up. Fuck your solar beam, kid. Fuck your solar beam. I have an iron head and Boris. Okay, I'm gonna protect. I want to fuse because I'm predicting an earthquake. Zembor is still fire fighting that. Okay, close combat that works too. I'm just gonna psychic. Bye bye, Zembor. Exeggutor. I wish I had a flying move. Wait, no, I'm good. Bug. Oh wait, shit. Do I take that? I do. Let's go, Zatu. Let's go, dude. Chugga can finish with a nice shard. Bye bye. And Jolteon. Why do you look like that? I take that though, right? I take that though, right? I take that though. Let's go. Fuck your life orb. And Archeops. Sorry, buddy. Bye. Well, I mean that battle was a lot less destructive. I actually, none of my Pokemon died. Wow, that's a change. I will say, like, these battles are genuinely tough. There's so many more to do, man. Holy crap. By Brava? Like, what is this shit, man? Okay, I think we're, we're back into Scrub Era. Okay, yeah, we're definitely back into Scrub Era. Which I'm fine with. There's been way too many tough battles as of late. So, uh, you know what? I will take, I will take Scrub Era. I did not, exp I honestly thought we would do some important stuff today, but I guess not. Well, I don't know. It's nice to take it easy and, like, look at all the changes and stuff. Some episodes are going to be like this, and I just have to accept that. Especially if the series is going to be a longer one, you know? It's just, it is what it is, you know? All right, easy. A lot of those battles were just click. 
just 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 click rock slide and win yo yo i need to learn how to shield myself from bullies my dad said this would help maybe i'll help you too oh thanks man if only i actually ev trained oh palo sand that's actually an easier way to get ball caps i'm pretty sure it's like 50 percent of the time i'll have a ball cap so nice uh okay swad loon what a what a lot of lineup of pokemon man did they change galissapod at all i don't remember nah i don't think they have unless they gave it like a, a new move i don't think so it's kind of hard to change galissapod without just making him another pokemon entirely Ooh, galarian weezing i am a fan of galarian weezing all right let's take out these scrubs these guys are genuinely scrubs is this mecha no no mecha why hold on i just realized like they're using smoke screen on like like what like survivor had smoke screen rhydon had smoke screen like what's what's going on man why do you guys have smoke screen oh god fucking hell wake up dude i need you to wait are they really just using smoke screen like what can we wake up please Thank you. Yo, I don't even think these are Pokemon that normally learn smoke screen, so I'm just confused. Like, what's the, what are they, what are they trying to do here? Whatever. Yo, I'm so glad that this route turned into a bunch of scrubs because, like, if I had to deal with like competitive battles for like another fucking twenty odd trainers, I don't, I don't know what I would do. All right, route fifteen. I believe this is where Simipore lives. Indeed, it is. Amber Palm. I think it learns like maybe more moves, but for the most part, doesn't seem to have changed. It gets Arm Thrust now. I think most of his changes is probably his move set, but Amber Palm still ugly as shit so fuck that serena which is a striker now of course i'm a huge fan of serena but I, th I feel like i use her way too much in my playthroughs so i'm gonna avoid that for now galvantula doesn't seem to have changed galvantula has his role as a sticky web goat so semi poor we already know has changed oricario gets quiver dance now which it usually doesn't in generation 8 sigilyph gets esper wing i'm not showing the website or anything right now because like most of these changes are few and far between. Ferrothorn doesn't need anything to change. Ferrothorn's fine. Ditto. I don't think Ditto's changed at all. Yeah, cool. All right, well, this is what we're here for. Simipore is my favorite out of the monkeys. So let's grab one, shall we? Got our Simipore in a dream ball. Uh, as for the nickname, let's do Sunshine. All right, more trainers to get through. This has been an experience. Let me tell you that much. I, I'm just... Uh, I'm just clicking A. I ran out of... Oh god, okay. I shard, thanks. These guys are just toxicing and smoke screening and... I, I don't even know if smoke screen does anything in this game because, like, this game hates hazards and hacks and stuff. So, like, I don't know what's going on, man. Just please let me... Just let me... Just let me go, man. We'll leave with views. Oh god, okay, let me U-turn out. Ah, uh, this one already has Wicked Blow. Ah, I see. I will Iron Head you, bomb. Iron Head you, bomb. Nice. Oh, I'm almost out. Last trainer. Oh my god. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, thankfully my slow heals itself. Thank goodness. All right, we're out. We're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, oh my god, that was a that was a long, long episode. See, I've got this rot brain where I'm a, I want to be a completionist. So even if I don't need to battle these guys because I don't need money because I've got infinite money, like it, I still just want to beat them so they're beat, you know? Oh my god, what is that sprite? Is he is he pretending to be a little Raichu? That's cute. He want to be a little Raichu so bad. Oh, there's the real guy. Yo, easy battles. Okay, thank god. I do like that route though. I like. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, there's these optional trainers that you can battle when you uh, battle everyone on the route, right? Oh, God, is this what this is? Shit. I wasn't prepared for this. I'm trying to end the episode off soon. I'll break your balloon. Go chugga. Haha, you suck. One meringue. Absolutely drink this. Peep this. Peep this. Mmm, that did a lot of damage. Bye bye, though. Sandaconda. I do like Sandaconda. I'm going to go into views. Oh, shit. It's a Mega Sandaconda. Yeah, Mega Sandaconda is crazy because uh, it's a ground flying type, which is just insane. And it gets aerial aid, too. So this is aerial aided. That's insane. That's so insane to me, man. Oh my god. This changes everything. I should have speed it. I don't think I'll do too much damage to it, though. I'll psychic anyway. Damage is damage. Okay. Mega Sandaconda, dude. Mega Sandaconda. It's got 140 base attack, 160 base defense. That's insane. Uh, I don't know why I think Gudra can deal with this, because it's just kind of Earthquake. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, ignore me. Coil. Okay, maybe it doesn't have Earthquake. It's oh, coiling resting. Okay. Sleep talk. Coil. You are... Plus how many, you only have body slam it seems. Cool. Paralyzed, don't be fully powered. Let's go. Okay, so I was lucky it doesn't have, it's got coil, rest, sleep talk, body slam. Okay, I'm so glad you didn't have earthquake. I got lucky there. Uh, This thing, please Gudra. Okay, Gudra has just been throwing it back for us. Thanks Gudra. Chad scared him out into a halucha. Flying type move, haha, <laughs> or flying type move I mean, haha. <laughs> Fuck you and your bullshit, boomerang. Oh God, sky attack, oh God. And the and the power herb, oh God. I take one, right? I take one, right? Let's go, let's go red run. Yes, fuck you. Cursula, I think we can just kill this. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh, that's a surprise. Cursula is base 55 speed. Marowak Alola, I'm pretty sure is 45, so that makes sense actually. I guess I thought Cursula was like base 30 speed, not 55. Even though they're low speed Pokemon, like it does make a difference. So this Cursula probably even at speed, I mean, I'm 
might not have speed. Mm, yeah, Don. No, Don Fan isn't speed invested. But then neither was Marowak. I guess. Yeah, Marowak's 45. Don Fan might have speed it. Let's do it. Boomerang. Nope. This thing must be speed invested. Okay. All right. I go into my special wall. Starmie. Starmie gets two code by this. Bye bye. Ursula comes back in because it realizes. It. Okay. It's gonna fucking meteor beam now. Oh my god. It's meteor beaming. Oh god. Okay. Does it have the power? Yep. I like and take a guess of what uh, item I might get for winning this. I think I'm going to get Power Herb because uh, yikes. Rock Slide does a good chunk. I actually think I just lose. Slower Bow is definitely slower. Plus one. I think it just kills. Yep. Didn't even mean to battle you, man. But I mean, now that I did, I, I feel like I have to beat her. Let's try a little bit of a different team. Okay, maybe not my best lead. I will not lie. U-turn with Zoroark. The well, pop of the air balloon. I feel like it just flash cannons, though. I'll go Drain Gang. Thunderbolt. Okay. Switched into Santa Conda. All right. Well, we already know this Gudra can 1v1 it, so that's fine. That's fine. Get out of here. Magmotar comes in from the Volt Switch. I meant to protect. Oh, damn it. And it means Iron Head. Whatever. Gudra, go. Go. Just go. Just mega Absol, hopefully. Just... Yep, thank you. Ooh, hopefully I can just cycle cut this. Oh, it's faster than me. Never mind. Bye bye, Absol. I forgot. Wait, Halucha? How fast is Halucha? 118. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I think we just ice shard this thing twice. One ice shard. Two ice shards. Starmie just hits me with a water move. I know you go for ice beam now, but we can take it. Nope, nope. I lied. We don't take it. All right, Bozo, I need you to come through. Let's go. Do Pokemon, Magnezone. Uh, I will teleport. I saw that flash cannon coming. I figured I'd die. Yeah, it's fine. And the off chance I lived. I didn't want to switch hard into Chugga because I think two flash cannons kill me and I need this Chugga alive to take Magnezone out. So one Morang now. We get two code. Yeah, we barely get two code. That did exactly half, actually, I think. Yeah, that did exactly half, which is hilarious, but... Yeah, I didn't want to get too good. All right, Cursula. Um, pain in my ass. I think we just die here. Is Blight able to finish without the illusion? Probably not, actually. Are you fucking kidding? I was literally right. Okay, I need illusion. All right, I won. Fuck this stupid battle. I did so much better that time. I mean, it pretty much the same sort of idea, just whatever. Perhaps I'm a bit tunnel visioned with my new strategy. I'll do the summer practice thanks for the help. Take the Sandaconda. Oh, okay. My Sandaconda. One thing I've been playing around two. All right, fine. Thanks. Media beam, watch your foes. Yep, 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 yep. Media beam, funny, funny, funny. Anyways, God, fucking extra beefy episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just us running through the routes. Ugh. We're finally in Fuchsia City, and we can finally uh, continue doing important things like taking on gym leaders and stuff, I suppose. Wait, yeah, we did Chuck. Okay, so yeah, who's this? Who's the sixth Johto gym leader again? Uh, Jasmine? I don't know where she is, actually. I forget. Uh, so yeah, next time, um, we'll, I might take out the Safari Zone uh, to get Surf, and uh, I'll probably take on Koga. I don't know. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you guys uh, have a good rest of your day, and uh, I'm going to train Simipore for next time as well. Simipore is going to be fucking awesome. Very excited to use it. It better not let me down. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Though. Talk to you guys later. Bye.